I think we all recognize that nothing in our world is more necessary than the spirit of Nowruz. When you see all the conflicts around the world, when we see the plight of migrants and refugees, when we see the rise of xenophobia and racism in so many parts of the world, it is clear that we all need the spirit of Nowruz. Spirit of Nowruz. One family, one song. Beneath the deepest snows, the secret of a rose is merely that it knows no ruse is near. That beautiful rhapsody of spring, rebirth and love is near. Nowruz marks the first day of spring on March the 21st. The beginning of the Iranian New Year. This fragrant breeze of Nowruz is overwhelmingly inclusive and ascends beyond all ethnic linguistic and religious barriers. Thus, today, Nowruz is celebrated by over 300 million people in various countries around the world. Including Afghanistan, Azerbaijan, India, Iran, Iraq, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Tajikistan, Turkey, Turkmenistan, Uzbekistan, and beyond. Meanwhile, 
Drums, special oboes and trumpets, which are the instruments usually used in military victories, are jubilantly played in various countries. Nauru's is a time of renewal. This renewal starts from the houses with spring cleaning. Happy Nauru's to everyone! knows no bounds. It crosses ethnicities, religions, language, mountains, forests and rivers. During the Nauru's visits in the Xinjiang region of China, we can see other unique customs. Here, the lady of the house pours some wheat flour on the guest's shoulder as an expression of well-wishing and blessings for the new year. In October 2009, in an unprecedented measure undertaken collectively by these countries, Nauru's was officially registered on the UNESCO list of the intangible cultural heritage of humanity.